He simply wasn't enough. He comes to me at the bottom of the bottle. The horned master of cubism. We drink to the fall of reality. Till the shapes sharpen and I cut myself on the rectangular, infinitely straight edges of my glass. And he retreats to his nest in the iris of my left eye. It's hopeless. I... I just can't take it anymore. I might as well try to paint with both of my arms broken. Art is beauty, writes a painter recognized widely for his talent a few years back. These painters, as they call themselves, either forgot what beauty is or decided to insult it. Waste of paint, waste of talent, waste of time. I do, I do to stop thinking, to stop the questions. Is this really the house I know? Where am I? What, what is behind that door? What is behind me? The questions are worse than anything that can actually happen. Screeching arsonists, 
Echoing screams. They stop at nothing. I won't go down easy. It is no wonder that an old star rebels against the light of the sun that outshines it. Truth is, his paintings have been bland and overly conventional for many years now. They don't evoke feelings. They don't say anything important. They are, at best, pleasant to look at. Art shouldn't be pleasant. It should be world-changing. Fucking mutt won't shut up! Hey! They say a picture is worth a thousand words. While this is true of many works of art, sometimes the words that come to mind are hardly flattering. Babyface is one such painting. This artistic anomaly continues to inspire thousands of mediocrity enthusiasts, when in fact, it is little more than a sideshow attraction. Frankly, this is hardly even art. It's merely a doodle. It's what you get when you lock a not very well adjusted painter in a dark basement for a week. Even putting aside the flawed execution, the painting is still deplorable. You left me alone. Judging by the silence that has now fallen over the house, I can safely assume that he's finally passed out. Undoubtedly, surrounded by empty bottles and tattered pieces of canvas that have become his preferred bedfellows. Every time it happens, I pray it will be the last. I pray fervently, passionately. Our Lord in heaven, let him crack his head open and the rot spew out. Let him cut his wrist on the glass and the red bile flow. 
Let him choke on his own vomit, so that we may all find peace. For if you don't, one day I will find the courage to walk down the steps and end him myself. You of all should know. It's not the lack of will that stays my hand. Professional. It's just the first few strokes. Then you're over the hump. What's so hard about it? Thank you. 
And so our agreement, although fruitful, must come to an end. We seek someone who understands modern art a little bit better, who is able to engage with it. And you, sir, don't seem to be that person anymore. Your reactions to other reviews and letters from our readers don't encourage further collaboration. I hate it. Everyone hates it. I have to make it perfect. I need to start practicing. I don't care what he thinks about it. I'm not myself without music.
Finish it or die trying. Finish it if it kills you. Don't let the doubt get you. It's not about watching. 
things about feeling with all senses, every part of your body. It's the only way to understand it. The only way to eliminate doubt.
You deserve this. All of it. All of it. I needed something to add the, how should I put it, final touches, a finger. I needed a finger. Chopped it off, easier than sawing a leg. Washed it, dried it in an oven, fell asleep, almost burned it. Will I manage to pull this off? Let's talk about the symbolic aspects of your work. I'd rather not. Why is that? A symbolism is a word that gets thrown around a lot, usually when people don't really know what to make of you. Uh, the worst question you could possibly ask me is, what did you mean by that? If it was that simple, I wouldn't have painted it. I would have just told you. Of course, we can talk in general about themes that have always inspired me. Duality, conflict. I think that all art revolves around some sort of struggle. Whether or not we're able to see it, of course, is, is an entirely different matter. 